wild weather and today's earthquake. We want to leave you with some of the beautiful sights you shared with us. Thank you for helping us cover the storm. And remember, just scan the code on your screen. You can share your pictures and your videos and join our team of eyewitnesses. We really appreciate your help. Now let's go to World News Tonight with David Muir. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the dry weather while it lasts. Tonight, several breaking stories as we come on the air. Millions feeling an earthquake in California just minutes after an earlier quake in Hawaii. A deadly plane crash on a busy highway during rush hour. And President Biden unleashing his fury over the special counsel's scathing report. First, those back-to-back -back earthquakes in California and Hawaii. Millions of people feeling an earthquake centered in Malibu. The quake felt throughout the Los Angeles area. And minutes earlier, a 5.7 quake hit just off the Big Island followed by several aftershocks. Late details just coming in. Matt Gutman in California. Also tonight, the harrowing images in Florida, a private passenger jet coming down on I-75, hitting a vehicle on the ground, bursting into flames. We're not going to make the runway uh, be lost both engines. The pilot reporting losing both engines before going down. At least two people killed. Victor Okendo standing by. President Biden furious over questions raised about his age and memory in the special counsel's report clearing him of criminal wrongdoing over his handling of classified documents. The president insisting his memory is fine. The White House today trying to control the damage over what is already a campaign issue. Mary Bruce at the White House. Here in New York City, late word on the search for a teenager accused of shooting a tourist inside a store in Times Square. Authorities identifying the alleged shooter, a 15-year-old from Venezuela dressed all in white. Aaron Katursky with new reporting. Tracking a new winter storm taking aim at the Northeast. Nine states under alerts for heavy snow from Montana to Texas. A confirmed EF2 tornado touching down in Wisconsin. Winds possibly up to 135 miles per hour. Dozens of homes and buildings damaged or destroyed. The record heat and the big change on the way. Rob Marciano timing it out. The Israel-Hamas war. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu now ordering the evacuation of civilians from Rafah, where more than one million people have fled for shelter. President Biden calling Israel's actions in Gaza over the top. James Longman in Israel. And counting down to Super Bowl Sunday in Las Vegas, the 49ers versus the Chiefs, the most expensive Super Bowl in history. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening. It's great to have you with us as we come on the air in the West. I'm Whit Johnson in for David. We have several breaking stories at this hour. A deadly plane crash on a Florida highway and an angry President Biden pushing back on that scathing special counsel report over his handling of classified documents. But we begin tonight with two earthquakes hitting California and Hawaii. In California, a magnitude 4.6 quake hitting near Malibu. The quake felt by millions of people in the Los Angeles area. Just minutes earlier, a magnitude 5.7 quake hitting just south of the Big Island. Reports of aftershocks following. ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, leading us off in Los Angeles tonight. 